hello guys and welcome to my channel so in this video we'll see the hazardous waste management so let us start so the hazardous waste management uh, includes the first it, it includes the uh, waste management or we can say hazardous waste minimization second it, uh, it uh, contains the storage and collection of hazardous waste third it is the uh, recycle or the reuse of the hazardous waste and fourth or we can say last it is the treatment and safe disposal of hazardous waste so the this these are the four important uh, parameters for the uh, hazardous waste management so let us first start with the waste minimization so the waste minimization is the important aspect uh, of the waste management to manage the waste first we need to reduce the waste so to reduce the waste there are many approaches so first approach is to improving the uh, plant operation for example the uh, uh, the plant of the plant which is operating uh, in the company uh, is producing more waste so that that will be increase the waste a uh, waste of the hazardous content so the first thing is to improve the plant operations second is to improving process technology and equipment third it is the substituting raw material and fourth it is the redesigning and products so these are the four uh, approaches for uh, reducing the waste so here you can see the waste minimization chart where you can uh, reduce by uh, two things first you can have source reduction and second you can have recycling so in source reduction what you can do is you can change uh, the product product change or second you can control the source so in product change you can do is product substitution second product conversation or uh, product conservation and third it is the change in the product uh, composition now coming on to the uh, source control you can uh, change the input material secondly you can change the technology or third it is the good operation practices which will ultimately reduce the uh, the waste from the source second what we can do is for reduce the waste we can recycle the waste which will auto, uh, which will also reduce the load on the treatment plant at, as well as it will reduce the uh, the uh, waste so in which we can do is use and reuse of that material or lastly we can say reclamation so this was the waste minimization chart or we can say technique so ways to reduce waste there are three ways to reduce waste so we will see the volume reduction so the first way you can reduce the volume or the quantity of the hazardous waste is the process modification secondly what we can do is by segregation and thirdly we can do by reusing so let us see the process modification to reduce the waste by volume reduction so coming on to the process modification it includes the uh, ch uh, changes in raw material uh, by how this is the way we can reduce the uh, waste by process modification for example uh, the uh, machinery is working uh, in particular company has a raw material which uh, creates the uh, more uh, waste so what we can do that material can be changed or, or equipment can be modified so by using that example it can be said that it includes changes in raw materials equipment operation uh, operating procedure material storage and end product so this was the process modification coming on to the second which is the segregation so in this what we will do we will avoid the mixture of the waste different kinds of waste and keep non-cooling water separated from the waste stream and 
when hazardous waste is segregated treatment quantity uh, for the same will also be reduced so it will ultimately reduce the uh, load on the treatment plant and as well uh, as well as it will also reduce the quantity of the uh, the waste which has been generated now coming on to the uh, reuse so the reuse as you all know reuse means uh, the uh, using the material for the times and times which will also uh, reduce the waste and as well as it will be reused many times now coming on to the process modification which was the first point so coming on to the process modification toxicity reduction it includes first equipment modification second it has the housekeeping practice and third it is the uh, material substitution so let us first uh, see the equipment modification what we can do is to reduce the process modification we can uh, um, uh, modify or we can say we can replace any piece of the equipment which can modify the equipment and reduce the waste uh, generation or characteristic so what we can do is secondly we can do is we can have the alarm system that can avoid the batching dump and the ensure the spent plating bath are transferred to proper containers for reclamation of useful metals or we can say uh, the powdered company are using the uh, using uh, used it should be in small bag uh, also area should be properly ventilated so that the uh, air pollution control equipment are to be uh, uh, added to avoid the air pollution loss so in this equipment modification we can have the uh, part part replacement or uh, the equipment modification which will ultimately reduce the waste characteristic and we should have the alarm system to avoid the this uh, kind of situations and thirdly if there is the usage of the uh, chemical powder powdered chemical it should be in the small bag and it should be properly ventilated now coming on to the second point which is the housekeeping practice so here you can see the practice which have been listed in the second column and third last column you can see the elements so the practice we can do is the first practice is waste minimization assessment second what we can do is we can have the environmental audits third we can have loss prevention program fourth what we can do is we can have this waste uh, segregation fifth we can have employee practice uh, participations next what we can have is prevention uh, preventive maintenance which will also reduce the uh, waste management seventh it is the training and awareness building eighth it is the uh, production scheduling as well as planning F and ninth it is the cost accounting or we can say allocation now coming on to the third or this uh, C point which is the material substitution so processes are designed with the product uh, quality and profitability so what we can do is changing economy of waste management force for new perspective and many material change changes have proved to be cost effective and reduces the waste so the example are also given here so what we can do is we can uh, design and uh, we can have the quality and profitability product with the change in the new perspective as well as material change with the cost effective as well as with the uh, uh, reduction in the waste now coming on to the second point second is the recycling so recycling includes four points first it is the water second it is the solvent third oil and fourth it is the solids here it is the given for the water so aqueous uh, waste stream that meets the characteristic of hazardous waste treated as the hazardous waste second it is said that if this waste stream can be recycled 
to some useful purpose hazardous waste is uh, eliminated effectively and here it's the, the example of example given that extremely acidic line reuse of uh, waste treatment in neutralization of caustic waste now coming on to this second it is the solvent so we can recycle the common solvent such as given over here sorry so hexane benzene then uh, the chloride then the ethyl etc and uh, yes we can have the reuse which will also uh, reduce the quantity of the treatment of the hazardous waste and also will be uh, reduce the load on the treatment plant now coming on to the oil as the contaminated oil which has been coming from the uh, many of the companies which can be which which are to be avoided to be disposal in the uh, river so what we can do is we can uh, directly uh, have this oil to the uh, refinery uh, treatment plant where the uh, oil can be uh, reused and recycled for the another purpose and uh, energy of spent oil can be utilized in the industrial burners and uh, the furnaces now coming on to the solid so wider range of solid materials are to be recycled such as paper metal then the uh, paper boards plastic etc which reduces the load on the treatment as well as the safe disposal of this hazardous waste so here we complete with the hazardous waste management in our in the next video we will see the uh, safe storage and uh, safe storage of the hazardous waste and its transportation thanks for watching and stay tuned thank you